I've been an established graphic designer now for nearly a decade and my forte of expertise does lie within logo and brand design. You can actually browse over my portfolio, link down in the description box below. But today, I'm here to show you the tools and the resources that I used to make a killer logo design going into 2019. Making today's video possible is Melanote. Now I've featured this awesome tool before on my channel and it is an essential part of my workflow as a designer. It's great for generating and developing ideas throughout the design process and all of your work can be shared with colleagues and clients at any time. Melanote is in fact free, so click the link in the description below to give it a try today and see how it can allow your designs to evolve and to flourish. I've said this before and I'm going to say it today and I'm probably going to say it in the future too because it is so important. The use of pen and paper, especially at the start of a logo design project, is absolutely essential. Using pen and paper allows you to quickly spill your ideas and your sketches and your concepts out into a physical form. So my sketches are often crude, but they're also meaningful because they help to develop my ideas and my concepts from thought towards the final design outcome. So branching off from my sketches, I sometimes do tidy up my drawings on paper, and then I might want to scan those into Adobe Illustrator to use as a kind of template. And to do this, I often use my DSLR camera to capture the sketches and the drawings to upload into Illustrator. However, the DSLR doesn't just have its purpose in scanning and sketches, it can also be used to snap pictures for inspiration. You'll see later in the video why that can come in handy. But I have in the past been walking somewhere, or maybe I've just looked outside of the window, and something has sparked some inspiration within me. Snapping a pic of the inspiration keeps it fresh in a physical form, and not just faded in a foggy memory of yours. There is an awesome free resource coming soon in this video, created by Adobe, and it will help you to create killer logo designs. But firstly, however, there is a nice tool to bridge that gap between paper and pen onto a vector program like Illustrator. A drawing tablet allows a designer to draw their ideas with a pen, but instead of creating those ideas on paper, vector sketches and designs are actually created in a very fast manner, I might add. I personally use pen and paper more often than drawing tablets, but that's just me and my workflow in designing a logo, but I still do use a Wacom from time to time. Another handy resource is a sponsor of today's video, and that is Midanote. So when designing logo projects, you can bring your inspirational imagery that you've snapped with your camera, and you can import your scanned drawings and also your notes too. Having a digital mood board is super handy, and going into 2019, any design project that I'm going to start, I will include the use of Midanote too. So as I've mentioned in recent logo design tips videos, I always suggest that you design your logos in black and white first. This is because it's more crucial to get the actual logo mark and composition finalised and on point first and foremost. Thereafter, you can work on colour, and Adobe has an awesome and a free resource called Adobe Colour. You can choose between RGB and CMYK colours, but the really helpful function here is that you can choose colour groups. Once you've chosen a colour group, you can toggle around the wheel, and Adobe is going to select a colour scheme for you to use. Now regular viewers of my channel would know how much I love monochrome colour schemes, but you must absolutely make sure that your colour scheme is relevant to the brand and also the message of the logo itself. So check out Adobe Colour, link down below. I do also of course use my Mac and Adobe Illustrator, but these resources are too obvious for me to go in detail in today's video. So there are 5 different logo designer resources that I'm going to be using going into 2019, but there is one last golden nugget that I have for you and it comes in the form of a website. Logoed is an awesome source of inspiration and to get its creative juices flowing. It's linked down below with all of the other resources in today's video, and Logoed can show you some real life projects and logo design evolutions. Of course, don't do copying work that you see on there, but by all means, do get inspired and also browse over the many sections and parts of this interesting logo design resource. I hope you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to like and share my content on social media to help out the channel. Have a great day and until next time, design your future today. Peace.